All right, we're gonna come back to the montage in just a bit. But if I've learned anything on YouTube, it's that people are gonna ask how this thing works. So don't you worry, little birdies, I'll feed you. So here we've got a shell. The important thing and the first thing to know about this is that there is no big spinning wheel of death balancing this thing or doing anything to stabilize it. The only way this thing can stabilize itself is with the wheels. The other thing to know is that this thing uses a, a kind of control called PID control. Now you might be familiar with PID control and if you are good for you that will help you a lot because how I'm using it isn't the typical way. A Teensy 3.6 in here, that is just a really fast microcontroller that I happen to know how to program. Uh, we've got an MPU 6050, which is a gyroscope IMU uh, combination type thing. Uh, this just gives me a really, really precise angle and tells that controller right there what, it, what the current angle is. And it does that every five milliseconds. Then we've got an RC receiver right here. On the other side, we have a O-Drive, which is a brushless motor controller that has encoder feedback. So uh, these wheels are basically servo motors, which is kind of in the realm of fucking insane. But <laughs> this whole project is in that same realm. So that is the control system. But let me tell you about the control loop. So the first thing to know is that we have an angle that is from that gyroscope IMU unit. So we'll call that angle. That is the angle the car is at. And then we have the angle that we want the car to be at. So we'll call that C angle. So we have those two values and we have a PID loop. So we've got a PID. And that PID is just a little box that takes a certain amount of air into it and outputs a certain value for a speed to turn the wheels. So what we do is we take the angle we subtract it from the command angle, and that way we have one number that is just a certain amount of error that our PID needs to know. So the PID is inputting, or we are inputting into the PID, the amount of angle error. I guess you could call that the angular error. Uh, and then this PID is going to go and output to the wheels and say, spin this fast. So this PID's only job is to tell this wheel how fast to spin. And uh, you tune this all by itself. Then in order to make the thing move, so this is what you do to make that balance. But in order to make the thing move, you add another PID. And to distinguish these two systems, Oscar Wagel was using the terms inner loop and outer loop. And I think those terms make a lot of sense. So I'm also gonna use them. So now we have another PID and all this PID needs to do is change the command angle. So the car is going the speed that the trigger commands it to be. So now we have two more variables. We have speed, which is gonna come from the wheels. So we're gonna draw an arrow. The wheels will determine the speed that this PID commanded the wheels to go is gonna determine the current speed and then we have a command speed. And that's gonna come from the remote. So I'll try to draw a little remote here. So the remote is commanding the command speed and then the command speed and then the speed minus the command speed is gonna be the error for the outer loop PID. Then the outer loop PID comes back and modifies the variable command angle. That is basically how this thing works. So when this thing boots up, if you don't turn on the remote control, the car actually knows that. And so it disables the outer loop since it doesn't know what its command speed is and it doesn't know what its steering command is. And because of that, the car doesn't try to cancel motion when it just has the inner loop because there's nothing to tell it what speed to go. And so it just keeps rolling until it friction slows it down. But the second you turn on the remote control and actually give it a command speed, it'll slow itself down. All right, let's go back to the montage.
battery. There's the car. Oh, thank God. I didn't break the motor, I just broke the hub. And, uh, huh? Here's the wheel.